Hey y'all, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a fake JSON or mock JSON. So what would you want to create a mock JSON for your application? Let's say your backend team is working on the backend, on the endpoint, and they have some sort of documentation or a sample, a JSON sample, what the service is going to return. So and you can do development parallel and you can test out that JSON and create your data model and uh, create your UI and see how everything fits together as the backend team is getting ready to deploy those services. So for that, you need to implement fake JSON. Another case for a fake JSON would be unit tests. So you need to test your data model, you need to test if your data model is um, written correctly, if it is decoding your JSON, if everything is looking good. So the way to do it, again, create a fake JSON and see if you can decode it. So it's going to be really simple. In this tutorial, we're going to use Swift UI and uh, we're going to create a fake JSON and decode it. And basically, we're going to see this list right here. It's going to be really quick and really simple. So let's get started. So create a new project. So select an app, select next, and let's say, let's name it uh, fake JSON. And I'm going to just save it on the desktop. Okay, everything is looking good. Um, so uh, let me select a different simulator. Let's select 12 Pro. Let's resume. And the first thing that we're going to do is the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to create a fake JSON. So the uh, and before we do that, I'm going to increase the font so you can actually see what I'm typing here. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, create a new file. File. New file. So when you create a new file, you want to uh, search for empty empty and you are going to select this empty file let's name it fake JSON and the extension is going to be JSON the extension is really important because if you don't provide JSON extension it's gonna you might run into some problems later on so I highly 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 recommend you to add that extension right here so let's um, create so um, here you can you can make sure that uh, uh, you have syntax highlighting for JSON so JSON is selected right here so and it looks like we're good to go so I'm going to copy my JSON right here so that's going to be our JSON. So it's going to be image name. And for the image name, I'm using SF symbols. So if you don't have SF symbols, you can download it. Um, but for, even if you don't, it will work. It will work on your machine. Uh, no worry. So description is going to be a description for the image. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, five images all together. So everything is looking good so and now let's create our data model so again uh, you can say command n it will be a new file and now we going to select swift file and let's uh, name it as a uh, model model struck struct model and it's going to be and it's going to conform to codable and uh we need uh so we need a image name and i'm going to copy it from here so we have everything correct and it's going to be 
a type of a, a type of string and the second key is going to be our description string and um, we're going to iterate through that model we're going to create an array of that model in swift ui so for that we need to conform to unidentifiable so i'm going to make an extension and extension on model and i'm going to say i eat it i identifiable identifiable and it's going to yell at me because we need to add an id so so I'm going to change it to UUID and uh, let ID equals UUID just like that and we're going to return ID. So we are done here. Now we're going to go back to our JSON view uh, or content view and JSON view content view. So and for that we need to create um, uh, before we we feel before we get into that. So we need to uh, create a function that will decode our JSON and for that we're going to make an extension on bundle. And I shamelessly, absolutely shamelessly, stole, or rather borrowed, code from uh, Paul Hudson. So if you're familiar with Paul Hudson work, oh, uh, if you're familiar with Paul Hudson, his tutorials are incredible. And uh, this, is, um, this is one of the tutorials um, that he has on his uh, platform that will help you to decode JSON from a JSON file that you have. So let's go through the code and see what's going on right here. So it's going to be a generic function. So we're going to take a generic option that will conform to codable. So here we're going to provide what we go what we want to decode and here we're going to provide the name of the file that we're going to get JSON from. So now uh, we're going to um, create our URL right here. So URL, self URL, resource. Uh, we're going to create a resource uh, for URL for the resource, and it's going to come from our file extension. It's going to be nil, and we're going to throw a fatal error. So if we misspell or mistype or we make some sort of mistake, we're going to hit this error because this is, there's just no point to continue on. So now let's uh, create a data. So a data is going to be our data. And uh, if there's no data, again, it's okay to throw a uh, it's okay to throw an error, a fatal error. So if there's no data, uh, data, there's no there's no need for us to continue. So now we're going to create our decoder, and now we're going to do do catch. So um, this is really interesting technique. This uh, this is technique that I really really like and use for my purposes when I try to decode. JSON because there are so many things can go wrong when you're decoding JSON and it will help you a lot. So uh, try decoder decode uh, that object that we provide from the data. So now decoding error key not found. So there might be a mistake in the key so you might misspell the key or um, assume that the key is there but it's not there so we're going to throw fatal error so um, and we're going to provide the key and we're going to um, provide the content description so another um, coding error that might occur is type mismatch so let's say we provide one type and we're trying to decode another type so if it happens again we're going to get fatal error so um, but 
this function will help us to identify that that and that fail error. So another decoding error is value not found. So everything might be correct, the key is correct, but the value for that key is not there. The value is not found. So again, we are um, we, we're just going to go go ahead and uh, throw an error right there and um, we're going to tell the compiler, hey, like if you hit the error, please print out the error. And uh, another decoding error is data corrupted. So simply wrong JSON. JSON might come up as uh, came out as a wrong format in JSON or something that we don't expect. And if none of the none of those errors were caught, so we just we just going to. Um, uh, which is going to say that uh, the file, the file, uh, we couldn't decode the file from our um, from from our file. We couldn't decode JSON from our file. All right. So I hope it's really I hope it's really helpful and um, simple. I will leave uh, the github repo link in the description for this video because i know it's a lot of code i know it's a lot of code and uh, if you follow paul hudson he has those examples plenty so now let's create our view so uh first of all we're going to create add state private var Let's name it items. Items, and it will be um, bundle, um, bundle main decode. So, um, and it's going to be it's going to be an array of models. Model self and from the file and it's a string so i don't want to i don't want to hit any kind of problems here so i'm going to just copy and paste it right here so everything is looking good this is item we're going to iterate through, through those items and again those items are an image sf symbol and a description a string so just very very simple and we're going to create a list and in the list we're going to say for each items item in and we're going to create a label So we're going to create a label, not that label, it's going to be item, description, and um, item, image name. So everything should work correctly and if we reload it right here we're going to see we're going to see it right there so let's 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 run it so this is our this is our json this is our app so all right and this is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was useful so if you do, if you're starting your professional journey as an iOS developer, you probably would need to create fake JSON file at some point. This is how you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.